Okay, let's go ahead and begin the demonstration of section 10-2. The first participation activity is talking about a bijection mapping. The way that you look at this is you're given a set X of the integer values or the whole numbers rather, a one, two, three, four. The question is, was it sent in the mapping? The way that you look at this, the zero one is, was it not sent or zero? or was it was sent and one? So it's a true, false, or a bit logic zero one representation. So in this instance, uh, when I look at this on this first one, one four, the question is, was one sent? Yes. Was two sent? No, which is zero. Was three sent? No. And was four sent? Yes. So when you're going from X to the mapping, you're answering a yes, no question of whether that element inside of the set X was met, uh, mapped over to this. So one, zero, zero, one. So I'm gonna go ahead and key in one, zero, zero, one, check it, and we've got the correct answer. Just as another example, I know that the participation activity is static, but if this guy said F, and was asking to send two comma four as the option, you would have answered this one. One was not sent, so you would have answered zero. Two was, three wasn't, and four was. So you would have answered, in that instance for two four, you would have answered zero one zero one in that case. So that's what's going on with the first one. The second one here says, okay, backwards, I'm going from right to left this time. So was sent, was sent, not sent, was sent. In this instance, what was not sent? Well, one was sent, the first one, the second one, and the fourth one was sent. So one was sent, two was sent, four was sent. What was not sent would have been the one that represented as a zero, so would have been the element three in this case. So if that instance, it would have been three, check it, and we've got the correct answer. So uh, the item three. So you're going in reverse order when you're talking about the inverse. That's what that minus one states in this case. You're talking about what was not sent in that instance. If, for example, you had, if it asked for this here, if it was F, uh, the inverse, and it was zero, zero, one, one, what was not sent, the elements that would not have been sent would have been the first two. So in this instance, one and two would have not been sent. So that's just a second example to support it. The last one says, how many elements were not sent in this case or are in the set zero, 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 zero. In this instance, it's asking, okay, since nothing was sent back, again, you're going from right to left since you're looking at the inverse, Nothing was sent back in this instance. So in this case, this would have been, as the original set, uh, open brace, close brace, which is equivalent to the empty set. The cardinality of any empty set talked about back week one of the course would have been zero in this instance. We check it, and there were no elements that were sent uh, back in that instance. If it would have had a one there, you would have had one element and so on. But in this case, since all of them were zero, nothing was sent back. There isn't any set that makes all of those being false in that instance. Hopefully that helps on the first participation activity. Next participation activity uses the K to one rule. In this instance, a farmer orders X amount of horseshoes. So I'm gonna write out X. And last time I checked, a horse has four legs, which means they need four horseshoes. So applying the K to one rule would have been the division between X over four. So in this case, does not say use ceiling or four. So we're making the underlying assumption via the last sentence that the, uh, the farmer ordered or the farm ordered based upon a complete set. So if I do X divided by four in this instance, check it we've got the correct answer on that participation activity. This completes the demonstration of section 10-2.